guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day video. I haven't done one of these in ages, which actually focuses on me. I've shown you what the kids eat and what we eat as a family, but today I'm gonna to show you my diet, what it's been like lately. I'm trying to be healthy, some days are better than others though. But I think filming today will actually really help me because I'll be being accountable to you guys and like wanting to show you a healthier diet. So I'll just show you what I eat on an average day. So let's get into it. This is what I had for breakfast. For breakfast this morning, I'm having a coffee with a little bit of milk in it. It's just an instant one, but it's really nice. It's this one here. Nescafe Azira, we really like it. Um, we don't have a fancy machine or anything. And then I'm also having some porridge, it's just instant. It's what I have pretty much every morning. It's just really easy to put into the microwave. And then it's like a nice healthy breakfast. Jackson loves it as well. Um, so yeah, I've just put some cinnamon on top today. Sometimes I'll add like some raisins or fruit. But today, it's just plain. Sorry if this looks a bit uninspiring, but that is what I have. And the boys have just had pancakes, haven't you boys? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> They're all yeah. gone already? Yeah. Yeah. And Jackson also has some Rice Krispies. I also carry around a water bottle like this most of the time. I've been trying to make a massive effort to drink more water this year. So this is one of those bottles that actually tells you like what times and how much you should be drinking. So I try to drink two of these a day and just carry it around with me. Some days are better than others and I've actually put in a little um, bit of squash which is like a lemon squash. It's sugar free but it just makes me drink more if there's a little bit of flavor to it. Right, so it's about 10 a.m. now and I'm going to have a snack and I'm also gonna get Jackson one. I made this the other day, it's like a little trail mix. I'm gonna include it in a video very soon, but you basically put Cheerios, nuts, raisins, dried fruit, popcorn, like I put a little bit of chocolate chips in there as well and you have yourself a really simple, healthy, but also really yummy trail mix. So I'm gonna get him a bowl of this and then I think I'm going to have an apple sliced with almond butter on top because I love that snack. It's also really healthy. And as a treat, I'm going to have a sparkling water. I've been trying to drink more water, as I said, and we recently got a soda stream, which I'll show you how we use. It basically turns tap water into sparkling water in a second. It's powered by a CO2 carbonator, and it's so simple to use. So I'll show you how I use it. I've basically given up drinking any type of fizzy drink but this really feels like a treat because I will flavor the water and you can even flavor water with like natural fruit um, natural fruit juices as well and have like a fizzy drink and it sounds silly but it feels like a really nice treat for me so I'm going to do that now so this is the soda stream spirit here it's a really sleek design it's nice and tall as well and you don't need to plug it into anything so you can literally put it anywhere yes yeah, so if you take the back off here the co2 carbonator just goes at the back and this is reusable for about three years and will save you buying loads of single-use sparkling water bottles and this one cylinder can actually make 60 liters of sparkling water so it does last for a long time so I'll just hide that so it's really easy to use it comes with a carbonating bottle like this and all you have to do is fill it up with water I like to use really cold water Water, and then a little bit of flavoring as well. I've got this lemon and lime sugar-free flavoring lemon. that I really like. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just gonna fill it up and then you can fizz it on the soda stream. Should we show them how we do it? Yeah. Yeah, because you love watching, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Fill it up to the lime, yeah? Bye. I just have quite a lot. I think I'm gonna make quite a lot. Then you just put your water into the soda stream like this. And then there is a button on top which will release the CO2. You just have to push down for two seconds for like one burst of it. So it's three pushes for a light fizz, five pushes for like a fizzier water, but you can adjust the fizziness to however much you want. So maybe if you were letting an older child have a bit of fizz in their drink, you could just press it down once if you wanted it to be really lightly fizzed. I'm gonna do three fizzes though for myself. But again, as I said, you can make it fizzier if you want to or whatever. And I normally fizz it up before I flavor it. I just, that's the way I do it. Um, so yeah, just push down like this. 
and you can see it. <laughs> and that's it. And I'll have my spark water. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of this to give it a bit of a flavor. is to use it helps me to hydrate and to not have sugary fizzy drinks and it's also better for the environment than buying lots of individual plastic bottles so if you want to find out more about the soda stream i will put the links in the description down below because they've actually said that my viewers can have 15 percent off the soda stream spirits if you use the code sparkle march but i'll put the links and details in the description down below as well and now jackson and i are just going to enjoy our snack Jackson likes my snack as well. <laughs> That's a good boy. It's, it's yummy. <laughs> Just having a lunch date with Matt while Jackson is sleeping. Um, so he has jack of potato and prawns. Random. <laughs> and I'm having a smoked salmon cream cheese and cucumber sandwich with some salad we're at one of our favorite little cafes um it's called calcot we're actually sitting outside because it's quite mild so yeah it's really really nice um so yeah i've got that sandwich and then i did have a soy latte and some water but i forgot to vlog it so there you go it's all gone <laughs> I just want to eat my lunch, but she's making me record her. Tonight for dinner, we're having a lamb meatball curry. This is a recipe that was originally a HelloFresh one, and we like to keep the cards and remake them. It's really yummy. It doesn't look like much. I feel like this is a bit uninspiring, but you basically make the meatballs up, and then you add ginger, curry powder, and cumin, and then you add chopped tomatoes and um, sugar snap peas as well, and I'm just serving it with rice. Because it is quite a strong flavor, the boys are gonna have something different, and what they're having is something that they like to have after swimming and it's a nice easy one for me. This is one of Fraser's favorites. They're having breaded cod with rice, light soy sauce and peppers. I feel like the peppers are quite random but that's a veg that they love and I just know that they will eat it all up. Good new dinner dinner. <laughs> they are really cute. Like Fraser uh, said, he saw Caleb just cuddling the year five kids. Like, you just like, they just all like mix it. Right, so it is about nine o'clock now. All the boys are in bed, and we've come downstairs. I've got myself a decaf coffee. It is just that instant stuff again that I really like, but obviously decaf. And then I also have to catch up on drinking my second bottle of this because I'm at 4 p.m. on this. So I'll drink that as we're watching TV tonight. Um, we've been looking for something sweet to eat, but there is literally nothing worth eating in our house, which is probably a good thing because if we have stuff here, then we will eat it. Same with if I have wine in the house, I will drink it so I don't actually drink at all at home anymore so we just don't buy it because just calories that I didn't need and sometimes I'd have a glass of wine like after like a really busy hard day but actually didn't need to so I don't do that anymore I only like have a bit of Prosecco if we ever like go out for dinner or something like that um Matt doesn't drink at all so that helps as well because <laughs> I think if we were both drinkers we might be like oh should we share a bottle of wine but Matt doesn't drink so that does help um but anyway I'm like massively digressing but I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments if you want me to do more like this I'm happy to and thank you so much for watching and thank you to SodaStream for collaborating with me on this video the discount is in the description and I'll see you in my next one bye guys